Okay, the first question was, what is your overall impression of the JDP program? And uh, after watching the video, it seemed to me that they really were trying to change um, the past ways that people that were uh, dealing with mental illness were treated in the criminal justice program. Uh, they really showed some like crazy statistics about the rate of arrest of the mentally ill people and that um, it, it just really seemed like the JDP program was doing their best to help the, those in need. Uh, I really liked how it, it seemed that everybody from like bottom up uh, or top down, whatever, <laughs> was uh, there to help the people that were dealing with the mental illness rather than just um, like doing it for a job, money and stuff like that. Uh, the second question was, do you believe the program is a viable or alternative to incarceration? Why or why not? Uh, I believe that it is. And in many circumstances, it is a lot because of what I highlighted earlier that uh, they're aiming to help people uh, overcome their uh, the challenges of dealing with mental illness and uh, being a, a normal member of society. Uh, and But I do think that some people could potentially use something like the JDP program as an excuse. Uh, and uh, so there has to be some kind of accountability between making sure the person is mentally unfit enough to fall into that or if they're trying to avoid um, incarceration and instead uh, have an alternative. Uh, the third question was, does the program hold offenders accountable for their crimes? And I do think that the program holds offenders accountable, but it's not necessarily a traditional way of holding offenders accountable. When you think of holding offenders accountable, you think of putting them in jail and letting them do their time. But in this, it seems more like they're like almost earning the crimes that they committed. Uh, and a lot of the crimes were drug related, which doesn't necessarily mean you're committing like a violent crime against someone else. So it's not like you're atoning for your crimes that way, but it seemed like it was helping them uh, become members of functioning members of society without putting them into an incarcerated, like and incarcerating them which kind of changes how uh, people view themselves for the rest of their life, in my opinion. Uh, and number four was what changes would I make to the program to make uh, it more efficient? I personally, I would have two different groups, uh, or I would have the two groups, the arrested people and the people who work for the JDP program, I would have them meet more regularly. Uh, when the video began, it, it was saying that it was the first time that they had met, and it just seemed like, uh, they could have done more. And there was another time I know he was um, facing like possibly not being able to be part of the JDP program again. And it really just seemed like they hadn't met enough and they weren't like um, in enough contact, but which I mean is understandable because of budgetary constraints and issues like that. But it really seemed like that would make it more uh, efficient. And the final question was number five, and it says, what do you see as the two main obstacles to creating and running a program like JDP in California? Well, personally, I think the first uh, is passing like the required legislation to get the money uh, into the program because uh, a program like that costs a lot more money than, say, just um, putting them in jail because this, well, not necessarily, but it costs a lot of money. Uh, and it takes a lot of effort from people. And that's the second biggest obstacle is you have to find the right people who want to work for the betterment of society rather than just trying to get the most money out of possible because sometimes these people, the even the judges, the lawyers, even the ground level people like, um, uh, what's, his, what's his name, Justin, I think, uh, they're not necessarily going to be paid the highest dollar of any job they could ever work, but they're really making a difference. Uh, so it's important to find those type of people to work in a program like JDP.